Yo, I'm Sickfish Sticks and thanks for clicking on my video. Let's see what the gaming gods have in store for us this week. First up, a game I really think you should grow and put in your library even if you're not a fanboy of card games or turn-based RPGs, because Gloomhaven, which is the digital adaptation of the acclaimed board game, mixes tactical RPG and dungeon crawling perfectly well in a warm soup and pours it straight down your throat. If you haven't played Gloomhaven, it's a turn-based co-op RPG strategy game in which players choose from their deck of cards to guide their characters through a series of dungeon crawlers. There are a variety of enemies, each with different abilities, requiring different strategies to overcome. The rules are low to medium complexity and the digital version takes much of the more complex word out of your hands and allows you to just enjoy the fun aspects of the game. It's free from today over on the Epic Store, oh and heads up, this game is not easy. It will spank you from the moment you load it up, but some of you like that, so go for it. Just a quick public service announcement, this with finding gaming deals and offers and stuff like that, I just want to let you guys know that this is like a teamwork kind of thing, so if you find any good deals or good offers out there on the internet, please feel free to drop them in the comment section so we can all benefit and save more money for the funny, you know? Okay, back to the video. The folks over in Epic also blessed us with Ark Survival, arguably one of the most toxic places on the internet. It's also the best Australia simulator ever, everything kills you. Very nice. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but if I remember correctly, Stephen Hawking's ran better than this game, averaging an amazing 12 frames per second if you had your PC in the freezer and connected directly to a nuclear power station. I'm not sure what else to say. It has dinosaurs, a variety of poop, runs like shit, and even worse, more toxic players than anywhere else in the world. Ah, last but not least, dino sex. If it was one dollar, I wouldn't get it. But it's free. And I still wouldn't get it. Let's go. Our good friends over on Humble are offering a pretty neat set of titles for fans of strategy games. If you ever wanted to establish dominance on land or sea and help shape the outcome of epic battles on a massive scale, then look no further. The first price tier includes Viking Battle of Asgard. While it's not a game from the Total War series, it was created by the same developer Creative Assembly and you can get it for a buck. There are also two more tiers available, the most expensive one contains 8 games, 7 items and 1 DLC I think. If I'm not mistaken it will grant you stream keys for Total War Napoleon and Total War Shogun 2. It's a great franchise and I have fond memories of playing many of these titles myself. It's a great deal for just 11 bucks. The Steam Bash Bash event is a themed sale that will focus appropriately on games about bashing people in the head with large and heavy objects, preferably repeatedly. Or as Steam put it in their announcement, games that emphasize combat with melee weapons as the primary game mechanic. I think my explanation sounds somewhat better. It's most likely going to mean character action games, spectacle fighters, hack and slash and the like. If that's something you fancy, then you should head on over to Steam and have a look. You might find a good deal or two. The event is running from the 19th of September and until the 26th, if I'm not mistaken. Off you go. GOG has a pretty good offer on Desperado 3, which is a story-driven hardcore tactical stealth game set in a ruthless Wild West scenario. You gotta use your big brain and play smart if you wanna succeed and avoid sending your controller flying, never to be seen again. This is the type of game where a good plan can make the difference between survival and finding yourself at the business end of a rusty gun. Desperado 3 is currently 70% off, making it 18 euros or 16 bucks, and sitting in with overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam though, with a total of 7,000 reviews, so it seems to tickle nutsacks sex in just the right way. I played the demo of Desperado 1 20 something years ago, over and over again when I got it from a PC gaming magazine. Shit, that was a long time ago. If you like strategy games but dislike the slow turn based ones, this could actually be exactly what you need. It's not too buggy, a typical western story and all of those quality of life functions that you would want. Desperado 1 was good, Desperado 2 was better and Desperado 3 continues this trend. It's sitting in with overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam with a total of 7000 reviews. Also, I saw Endzone A World Apart, which is a post-apocalyptic survival city builder where you start a new civilization with a group of homies after an ecological disaster. Build them a new home and ensure their survival in a shadowed world, threatened by constant radiation, toxic rain, sandstorm, droughts and fat bitches. 
and zone is coming in with a very nice 70 percent off making it nine euros or right eight bucks and sitting in with mostly positive reviews on steam with a total of six thousand reviews if you like building sims then you'll probably like this one but it doesn't exactly do anything new besides the radiation mechanics it's kind of a frankenstein of different build and strategy games all mixed up into one and i think for that price it's actually not a bad deal if you're missing some city building apocalyptic action and that's all I had for you in this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you haven't. Like, why not? Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.